now the latest on October 18th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Several systems active today. Tropical Storm Neoguri has got its name in the Philippine Sea. Tropical Depression 18E in the Eastern Pacific and potential Tropical Cyclone 16 in the Atlantic sparking Tropical Storm watches and warnings for the US Gulf Coast. Day 291 of the year, day 139 in the Atlantic for hurricane season and there is the potential Tropical Cyclone in the Southwestern Gulf. The Eastern Pacific shows 18E which is way out to sea and expected to stay there over the next few days. In the Western Pacific, not only is Neoguri active, but uh, Invest 97W and 97A in the Arabian Sea. No storms are active in the Southern Hemisphere, though. It's all quiet here. So the headline tonight is Potential Tropical Cyclone 16L. Winds of 40 miles per hour, estimated pressure 1,004 millibars, could be designated as a named storm at any time. 191 miles from Tampico, Mexico, 23.6 north, 95.3 west. Systems expected to move towards the northeast, striking the U.S. Gulf Coast somewhere near the Florida-Alabama border, we expect, and then on through the United States towards the northeast. Best indications that we're having at the moment are indicating that it will probably be a subtropical cyclone, um, at least to begin with, and the chances of it being a tropical system are decreasing over time. This is how the wind shear is looking ahead of this potential cyclone. Wind shear prohibitively high towards the north, further south, looking much better. The center of circulation, which is becoming more apparent over time, is right around the 30 knot threshold there. Here's a look at the North Atlantic as a whole. You can see there convection blowing up off the coast of Africa, but also more off the uh, Lesser Antilles as well. And you can see already the influence of this potential tropical cyclone. Even if it doesn't become a named storm, it will bring along huge amounts of moisture over the Gulf. And here is a moisture graphic showing how expansive it is already, affecting anywhere from eastern Texas to Florida and beyond. The Eastern Pacific then looking like this, you can see the depression down there, quite easy to spot actually. Fairly low latitude, especially for the Eastern Pacific, uh, but later season activity, you do expect them to drop in their latitude later on. So there it is, could become a tropical storm, not expected to get particularly strong and isn't going to move very much according to the National Hurricane Center. The Western Pacific shows tropical storm Neoguri on your left hand side and towards the right hand side there that big blow up of convection near the bottom is the Invest 97W. A small little disturbance in between there as well affecting the Mariana Islands at this point uh, but tropical storm Neoguri rather small and the latest indications show that it's more likely now to turn north. The Australia and South South Pacific region is looking fairly quiet, although convection blowing up in the very low latitudes towards the equator, uh, but down there in the tropical zone, not too much going on. The Solomon Islands are the busiest out of any of those. The Indian Ocean, you can see that invest which has formed rather disorganized, I must say, but 97A is now a thing as well. Uh, some models have been predicting potentially two cyclones in the Arabian Sea in the next two weeks, so we'll keep our eyes open. East Pacific sea surface temperatures fairly warm, 30 degrees plus off the coast of Mexico, around 27, 28 where the depression is. In the Gulf of Mexico, temperatures also fairly high, 29 to 30 degrees. They'll drop off quite quickly as, they, as this system nears the United States. The rest of the uh, Atlantic still fairly warm at the lower latitudes. The Indian Ocean very warm, the Arabian Sea not quite as much as the Bay of Bengal, 30 degrees plus in the bay, and in the South China Sea, 28, 29, the Philippine Sea also around the same. So Neoguri not going to be doing too badly. A little bit warmer for the Invest 97W as well. Here is a close-up the floater imagery of Neoguri. Clearly a tropical storm, uh, good amounts of convection blowing up right away over the center. Um, most of it is displaced towards the north admittedly, but generally a good little tropical cyclone, not going to gather much more pace than it currently has, and latest indications from the JMA suggest that it might turn more towards the north now and maybe not affect the Philippines at all. And here is a look at potential tropical cyclone 16. Um, as you can see, still fairly messy. ASCAP passes from earlier today showing that a uh, circulation does exist. It's a bit broad and elongated. That's one of the reasons the National Hurricane Center haven't named this system, which does have 40 mile per hour winds. 
Uh, another reason, they say, is because of a lack of convection. That could change at any time, including at an update when this Tropical Weather Bulletin comes out. Um, so here we are on the naming list. If it does get named, it will be called Nestor. Following that, we'll have Olga, if we get that far. In the Eastern Pacific, if 18E gets any stronger, it will be named Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Hone. In the Western Pacific, Neoguri has gone by now, or will be going by. The next name is Bualoi. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 8 is Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter by searching the same name, and you can get in touch with us on there as well. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin soon. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.